Clarissa. Yes. The greatest woman of all time, the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. And there can't be an undisputed fight without you present. What's your reaction to what you just witnessed? Um, I thought the fight could have been a draw, or I thought maybe Marshall got it by one round. 6-4, maybe. It was quite close, wasn't it? It was close. The judge had 99-92. I don't know what fight he was watching, but I agree with the 95-95. I think the other scorecard was maybe 93, 97 or something of that nature. But the fight was close. Uh, French on did her best. I'm proud of her. She proved so many people wrong because Marshall didn't knock her out. She didn't knock her down. It was a very rugged fight, and she showed that her skill level is on the same level as Marshall, so I'm proud of her. You were quite animated during the fight. What were you saying to Franchon in between rounds? What advice were you giving him? I've been inside the ring with Marshall. I told her you're going to have to dig deep. You're going to have to bite down, you know, especially in those later rounds because it seemed like in the middle round, um, Marshall gets a little bit stronger and then she dies back down again. So I was telling her, look, as you, she won the first three rounds, then she lost three, and then she won one. It's like this fight is close as hell. Bite down and you'll go home champion. I felt like she should have kept her belts. 95-95, but like I said, it was so close. It could have been 94-96 for Marshall, which I'm not. I'm not against the decision. It was, I just don't like the 99-92 score scorecard. Listen, you when you fought Savannah Marshall, two million people, over two million people watched it. Just when you look back at that as a spectacle and an event, how special was it? It was a special moment for myself, for Marshall. Um, that has eluded her to be here. She still talks about it. She uh, she wants to experience that again. And um, she talks about a rematch with me, and or I guess I'm scared to rematch. I don't know what the story is right now. But I know that if she comes to America, I'll fight her at Super Middleweight for an undisputed title, and I'll win, and I'll become Super Middleweight undisputed champion. How big would that fight be, undisputed versus undisputed, at Super Middleweight in America, uh -huh. doing it all again? Will it go the same way? It'd be, it'd be me by knockout. By you know, she, she thinks that she's the only one who got to lose weight to make 160. She's the only one who got to cut the pounds. I would be stronger. I would be more um, more energized at 168 also. And I'm a, I'm a bigger girl, too. I don't like to fight at 168 because the girls cut from so much to make that weight, 190, 200 pounds. And I don't get that big. I'm probably 172 right now. So having to go up. Having to only cut four pounds is, you know, lose four pounds is okay, but these girls get up to 190 something and then they cut down to 68 and then they rehydrate back up again. So I'm only going to rehydrate four or five pounds and these girls are going to rehydrate way more. So she'll be bigger than me again fight night. But skills pay the bills and I got power and I got skill and I got the grit and I got the, the determination. Then I believe I can beat her again. Well, I know that I can beat her again. And tonight, I was not impressed with her performance. You know, out of all the talk, I watched the lead up. She, so, she said she's so much better than French. Huh? She got the skills, and she's going to do this and that. Same level of skill in there. Um, she didn't know how to um, acclimate to what French was doing, and that's why the fight was so close. A lot of people said that, um, talking about when you fought Savannah Marshall, a lot of people said that the difference was is you were able to adapt throughout the fight and show um, you were able to figure Savannah out. Is that Would you I agree with first, that? I won the first five rounds in our fight. I think if you have to look at my fight, I lost maybe two rounds out of eight when I went back and watched it multiple times because now I'm like, let me watch it with no bias. You know, when I first watched it, I'm like, every round. But I'm like, no, maybe not in the one. I watched it again to eight to two. I watched it one time, I'm like, well, maybe she got three rounds. Then I watched it back again, I'm like, oh, no, nope, it was eight to two. And then now as I watch it and I watch it, I'm like, wow, I did my big one with that one. Like, that was eight rounds to two, great performance. And I'm ready to weather the storm again and go in there and do it again. And, 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 and you know, show her that I'm not a one-trick pony. I know how I can fire her, how to neutralize her. And I was not impressed tonight. I don't know if she was trying to hide something from me with her performance or what, but... I was not impressed. Well, it's been great to have you here. Let me ask you about another world champion who's crowned a double weight, two weight world champion tonight, Natasha Jonas. Um, it's a good thing she turned me down. Is that something, you were you were due to fight earlier in the year, um, it didn't happen. Is that something you'd explore at perhaps maybe 147? Would you go down to 147 to, to explore that fight? No, nah, she fought at 54, I would go to 54. If they paid me a lot of money, I would go to 47, but 
Are they going to pay me $2 million to go to 147? Because I had to cut a lot of weight, possibly lose muscle, and have to gain it all back again to fight at the weight class that I fight at, which is 60, 68, 54. So that's a big push, but I'll do it for the right amount of money. Listen, when you're the undisputed uh, champion, the quote, uh, everyone wants a piece of you. So it's. Uh, Natasha I Jones suppose don't. It's she turned me down already. So. But for good reason. I saw her today and I said, you know what? It's a good thing she turned me down because. I, all she got is a big left hand, which comes very slow. And I'm not going to sit there and wait for it. I'm going to go out there and jump on her ass, put that weight on her, put my size on her, put them combinations on her. And I don't think Tasha can last more than six, seven rounds with me. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you over here uh, supporting women's boxing. It's taken of off in the UK, and it's great to have you here. Thanks a lot, Carissa. Mm -hmm. You're welcome.